Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm back with Eden Zero episode number 12. Alright, the previous episode, we are getting out of Planet Gills. We got a few revelations that the sister that we have been seeing is actually was actually a fake sister. And the actual sister Ivory uh, was held captive underground of the you know underground the church of the church and uh now she's out she looks like a pretty good person and unlike the sister that we've all like you know we've been seeing for this couple of episodes who we thought was the real one and uh like the, like the, there's a lot of difference between them obviously because the sister that we've been seeing the fake sister she has been doing these kind of dubious jobs these kind of things like she kind of gave her backstory about like she needed some help but then she like you know decided to take the power on him on herself use it for herself you know like becoming more greedy all that stuff happened and she has been tricking all these people uh the guy I, I forget forgot his name what was his name gin was it gin or jin um the 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 cyborg ninja i can't remember his name anyways like no he was tricked we also got his part of the story that he has a sister who needs some help i guess like you know because of first he's working something like that oh because of some illness i think yeah something like that so all that stuff you know happened and now we're getting out of planet kills the crone phage is almost like you know at our tail and yeah everything is in chaos so let's see let's see how this goes so without further ado let's get started with eden zero episode number 12. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Oh boy, here it is. <laughs> the chronophage wants his dinner. Oh, damn, like imagine getting out of a planet because the whole planet is in danger. <laughs> That's some, yeah. Like this is on a completely different scale. Like usually we are accustomed to like, yeah, like, you know, a place is going to get some kind of danger. So get out of the city or something like that. But in this, like, it's, it's not a city, it's, it's a whole planet. A planet is in danger, get out of the planet. And I think that's a bigger problem here because this is not like you can hop into a car and get to a nearest city where there is no danger. This is not like that. You need to hop into a spaceship or something like that and get out of that planet. And then after that, what? Like, where do you even go? Like, your home is destroyed. Okay, damn. Like, even though like you know this was like a den of bad people of criminals i'm sure there were a lot of people who lived there you know as residents so like they're going to have a problem now because the whole planet will be gone ah, anyways This crawfish is literally a natural disaster, you know, like you can't do anything to stop it. If it wants it will completely eat a planet and that's just it. Like who knows, like someday maybe Blue Garden may also be a threat. Just like this. I don't know. Nah, there you go. You know, it's kind of, it was kind of acting weird in the previous episode. A lot of people, new people. <laughs> yeah, Rebecca doesn't even know. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, it's cheeky. <laughs> okay. Oh, damn.
Oh boy. Uh, okay, there you go. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> yeah, let's get out first. <laughs> okay. Oh. Cut down the tree then. <laughs> I know that's not possible, but still. <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Oh, damn, I was joking. Okay. Okay, it's really... G I thought the tree would be very, like, you know, like, industri indestructible or something. Yeah, we need to do some gardening here. <laughs> oh yeah, they have gravity power, so There you go <laughs> Whoa, they made it, he made a complete <laughs> Oh yeah Okay. Okay, don't crash. Um Okay, nice. I thought they were gonna crash or something. <laughs> Damn. Okay, yeah, like Whew. And the chrono phase is almost here, yeah there there it is. Oh god. Yeah. Damn, 1200. Purified. Uh, true. Oh, so this is Gills now. Damn, like. Oh, because, like, the time kind of went. Like, you know, got sucked out. So it returned to its original form or something. Oh, wait. It's Xiao Mei, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, she breaks the fourth wall. Okay, so she's literally here to narrate the story, I guess. Interesting. I doubt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Saved. Uh. Yeah, that was something. Yep, the adrenaline wore off. 
So. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh. Well. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it was hermit. Valkyrie and a hermit. Yeah, and the vlogs. We can make some vlogs. <laughs> uh wait, she knows? Oh. Oh really? Oh okay, she also doesn't Excuse me. Oh okay, so Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah, now where do we go? Like, no, we have no clues. What? What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of acting like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, I am going on my way. And then he comes back. Half speaks to me. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, he did a lot of things now that I realize it. <laughs> Cleaning. <laughs> All right. Yo, what? Ha! <laughs> what? Wait, he, he's wearing a suit. What the hell? What? Wait, wasn't he working for... Oh, he... Oh, okay, okay, okay. What the hell? <laughs> Whoa. What happened if you put push his belly button? <laughs> I'm sure at some point Shiki is going to push the Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah. D -d -d <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, this is those, those people. I forgot their name.
Fewer than oh boy. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa, who is this? Gone and Jagger. Whoa. Oh, the main person, I... One of the relations? What? I'll have to check that out after the reaction ends. Did they just say Oration says? I'll have to check it out after this ends. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? Wait, isn't she supposed to f be fire? Oh, there you go. So it really is hot. What? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah hmm yeah auto you <laughs> yeah <laughs> You want okay. <laughs> what? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah. Light. Oh. <laughs> There's a pig of Edens. Oh. Nice. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh great. What? <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm. Oh! She'll be cosplaying! <laughs> what? 
can wear that armor. Oh, phone call. Okay. Oh yeah, they didn't know that she's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, we forgot about that person. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, what? Oh, oh, this is that guy from Fairy Tail. The announcer guy. She's famous now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Well, you're gonna get a lot of views now. Yeah, oh, nice. What? Why bad? Why bad? <laughs> bad rate. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Let's make some videos, yeah. No. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. Iron Hill. Another planet? Yeah, oh wow, it's a cool looking planet. Oh! Arcelic. Yeah, 12. Okay. <laughs> Who the? Oh wait, did they find? Oh, they already found her. That's Hermit, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, whoa, that was quick. I'm not I was not expecting them finding her so quickly. All right. Okay, so I guess we'll need to convince her. I don't know if it'll take some time to convince her or not, but after she joins, we already have three of them. So only one left. Okay. Okay, that's good, I guess. Because I thought it would take kind of, you know, like three or four episodes, not three or four, but more than that, five or six more episodes to actually track Hermit or Valkyrie down and like, you know, recruit them. We got one of them in this episode. So great. Everything's going quickly. <laughs> Another thing I noticed. So the, the 12 heroes. Like, I don't know if that's like <laughs> something that they did deliberately or not, but it reminds me of the Zodiacs, you know, of Fairy Tale. Um, technically, Fairy Tale had 13 Zodiacs, as we get to know in, like, you know, in the future. But like, initially, it was 12, wasn't it? Yeah, like, 
yeah, I, I'll, I'll have to check that out. It's been a while I've seen fairy tales, so I kind of forgot. Okay, just a sec. Yeah, that's it. Okay, first of all, I need to check. I think there were, in, in the end, we got the 13th zodiac in fairy tale. Fairy tale zodiacs. Um. Okay, let's see how many of them were there. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, twelve. Oh no, wait a minute. One, two, oh no, they're, they're okay. Oh, the gold keys, they had 12 gold uh, keys, not 13, sorry. Okay, so. Like the last one obviously was Piscus as far as I can remember who we didn't even know that it existed or something like that so like you know like so I guess it was technically 11 but then in the end we get to know that it was actually 12 so yeah okay like not 13 sorry 12 12 12 zodiacs and yeah that's what i'm saying like i don't know if that they like you know made the number match that or what like you know they said that the 12 heroes but as soon as i heard the 12 heroes i kind of got reminded of the zodiacs you know and uh, <laughs> yeah okay so all right so this episode um what happened nothing much happened here we just get got out of the the uh, out of planned uh, guilt and uh, <clears throat> okay few information we got to know in this episode first of all uh homura is related to um, valkyrie uh she's her pupil and she's trying to find her just like we are also trying to find her so like he, he, he said something uh, she said something like valkyrie suddenly vanished one day so that's why and she left her sword with her you know valkyrie left her sword with homura now so okay so technically uh we got a lot of people now you know like we have shiki <coughs> pino happy rebecca uh, shiki pino happy rebecca um which homura sister um wise who else moscow yeah nine nine isn't it i think so if we damn we have nine members now all <laughs> yeah it, it can okay well, another thing i was going to check out what was that i thought i i saw that it was written oracion says just a sec Just a sec. Um, where was that potion? I'm trying to find out. Like it, it happened so quickly, I was unable to l properly see what. Okay, just a sec. Oh great, where is that portion? Okay, here you go. Um oh my god. It happened so quickly I was I wasn't even able to find it out. Gingar Rokumasho, Galactic Six Demon Gen Generals, one of the Orashian there you go. Orashian says Galactica. Okay, um first of all, obviously Orashian says we know from fairy tale. Like but this is something different completely this is galactic six demon demon generals six so there's six demon generals one of the orations says galactica so i'm guessing the uh, organization obviously it's called oration says galactica and one of the the demon demon generals is this guy um draken joe okay so he he's one of the stronger enemies i'm guessing we're going to meet later on and uh, and we also met another character here this guy uh Cornel jaguar no no sorry just a second no no 
What was his name? I need to start remembering the names. That guy was Drak and Joe, and this guy. Yeah, his name is Colonel Jagger. Okay, so this is Colonel Jaguar, the guy we saw with. Um, I again forgot his name. The, the guy who, uh, like, you know, who's trying to find Elsie. That guy. And uh, this guy here is Colonel Jaguar. That guy is Dragon Joe. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, so these are the few things that happened here. We also got uh, <coughs> Homura in our team then we had a little bit of a section where they like you know Homura and Rebecca kind of try to fight <laughs> but like you know they oh and we also got to see uh, um, Rebecca's um, ether gear again now so as Homura said it is something that you can choose because it has not developed still so you can choose I guess and <laughs> yeah Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca thinks that she wants some auto aim power or something oh god oh boy and okay another thing we got to know uh the light of the edens uh the light of the edens uh pino was called that like just like how these different um you know the, all the uh shining stars are called a different name she's being called the light of the edens so they kind of like you know they said that she is as next the next generation of their uh versions uh, because obviously ziggy is the creator of all these shining stars so so i guess like we still like there's still a lot of uh not mysteries but questions surrounding pino like we know that ziggy made her but when did he make her and how did he get uh, you know how did she get transported to the uh, the place where was where was that the name where um uh Weiss was uh, uh so many names i forgot again what was the name of that place um the first planet that we went to i'm not talking about blue garden after that no norma wasn't it yeah norma planet norma yeah uh, how did she get to the planet norma where the time was already like you know uh like the chronophage ate the time that planet normal how did she get there and like a few other like you know questions are still left about pino but she's kind of like you know mixing well with all the people here and uh, yeah and then we get to see the <laughs> the next scene of how all the like you know she like rebecca is kind of like a minor celebrity in blue garden now <clears throat> Okay, <laughs> that's a funny thing. Like she got her shout out so by so many people, and people are watching her challenge channels more. But <laughs> as I said, they, she, they're getting bad reviews. I'm guessing because she is not accustomed. Like she, she's a, I think, quite a new BQber, and she, as like you know, as we saw, like she kind of does weird things in her channels. Like when suddenly like uh, Shiki says that should I like you know dress up as a bunny <laughs> in a bunny costume and dance and Rebecca says oh that might be good and <laughs> like you know these type of things like she does that's why probably she's getting all those bad reviews and obviously when suddenly like this happens uh, when suddenly some you know uh, minor channel gets some kind of shout out and a lot of people starts checking the channel out obviously there be there will be a lot of people who Will support you but there will be also a lot of you know trolls or people who would just like you know try to mess with you those kind of reduce after a little bit of time like you'll give it a little bit of time they'll they'll like eventually go away and go on their own way because that's what happens like you know like <clears throat> so many people suddenly starts watching your channel uh, for the first time uh, you get a few people who are genuinely interested in your channel few people who are kind of neutral and a few people who just came to your channel just to troll and harass you now after like you know you continue your uh, content for one or two months three months four months and uh, you know you kind of keep going and don't give the trolls any mind like they'll be disliking your videos and all those stuffs will happen 
like that will happen and then after three or four months obviously they'll get bored and they'll leave because genuinely they're not interested in your content they just came here to mess with you no so they'll like one by one they'll gradually leave and they won't come back you know the dislikes and everything will start going down and at the same time the people who are genuinely interested in your content and who got interested in your content after watching your content they'll stay so that's what happens you know like if suddenly some kind of channel gets a huge boost of uh, like you know popularity this is what happens so <laughs> i'm guessing something like that and obviously like after getting so many views she she kind of did the, her own thing before but now she needs to like genuinely um like you know think about what she should do what type of video she should make all that stuff okay i, I made this a complete <laughs> you know different thing i started talking about the whole youtube bq thing but anyways this is how it usually goes so <clears throat> yeah now she got her popular uh, like you know boost in popularity like almost every uh, like popular vtuber is talking about her like that's a huge boost you know like that's like the biggest shout out one can ever get so <clears throat> yeah i'm sure like you know everything will be fine gradually as they go on and as after they start making more videos <clears throat> as they said like you no know, they're going to uh, vlog the whole journey as they go to find mother so i guess yeah like a lot of people will watch that obviously but this is something that someone's doing for the first time i guess who knows <clears throat> and also we got a little cameo of that guy i forgot that guy's name the, the guy who we always saw in fairy tale you know announcing in the tournaments and all um can't remember you know who has that that <laughs> wig <laughs> he still had that wig in this episode like you know in, in either zero as well so he, he he's like a news reporter now <laughs> okay oh boy and um <clears throat> yeah okay what else all right and in the end we get to what was the name iron just a sec iron got iron hill iron hill okay this planet it okay it it looks like a i don't know it has a weird structure i'm guessing it's full fully made of iron and okay so another thing like we already saw those places which were like you know abundant in ether like uh, like obviously i did not know about that i did not realize that but people mentioned in the comments that blue garden is uh, abundant in water uh, ether um norma was abandoned in earth ether and uh, uh oh, okay um gilst gilst was abandoned in wood ether and i'm guessing this planet uh, this iron hill is abandoned in iron ether i guess from the name okay so a lot a few information we got here the number the, the the heroes that we saw here the first hero uh the hero orgia okay he, he's like a wearing a helmet and uh, an armor and few few other heroes as well hero arcelic nikolaus orgia arcelic nikolaus Urukroa. Twelve. Twelve of them. There you go. Like it, it matches the zodiacs. And this place here is like uh so these are like statues that I guess people made or I doubt this is some natural formation. Like you know, like there's literally statues on it. So I'm guessing some people came here and made these like you know statues to uh for, for you know for showing respect to them or something like that okay during the dark ages those heroes are said who have defended the sakura cosmos okay the heavenly knights of the dancing sakura the guardians of the blue garden the heavenly knights of the dancing sakura okay all right okay th these are the few new information we got and um we, in the end we saw hermit actually sitting there now uh sister uh, sister yeah sister kind of said that uh i knew that you were probably going to be here 
Now I'm guessing that means Hermit had some kind of connection with either this place, the Iron Hill, or with either one of the heroes. No, because why else would he, if, uh, she even be here if, like, and sister says that she had some kind of idea that she will be here. That's why I'm kind of like, you know, making the connection that, yeah, maybe Hermit knew about one of these heroes, or maybe she has some kind of connection with the planet in itself. So, so yeah, now we already got, like, you know, met our third shining star. So maybe like you know like you know what i was expecting i was expecting them to actually like you know uh take 50 or more episodes to find all the shining stars and then they will actually like you know cross the uh what was the name of that the dragon i forgot the name that they're supposed to cross you know after they get all the shining stars they're going to cross that and then they're going to go to the adventure so i thought like maybe it will take like 70 or 80 episodes for everything to, i'm not talking about manga, manga chapters i'm talking about episodes like 80 episodes is a huge time like i thought it would be something like that you know like they'll be like gradually gradually getting to see all the shining stars and recruiting them and get going on more adventures and then again meeting another shining star recruiting them and then after a lot of like you know episodes we're going to you know gather all the four shining stars we're going to open that room that's in there something will happen you know i'm guessing some kind of like it's just a guess i'm guessing some kind of protective something is going to come out and the eden zero will change in a more like you know strong or powerful way it will be able to withstand the uh like you know outer space it'll go out and then we're going to go to the actual adventure to find mother all that stuff but turns out like Everything's happening a lot quicker, a lot quicker than I expected. They already found their third shining star. So, like, I'm not sure how much time it will take for them to actually recruit her and, you know, and then to find Valkyrie and then recruit her. So, like, but everything's going so quickly. So, I'm guessing we're probably going to get out and go into the whole adventure, you know, outer space adventure to find mother a lot quicker than I expected. So, that's good in a way because you know like uh, who knows man like i'm just guessing at this point like maybe they're going to get into some kind of situation which will take a lot of time and then they're going to find uh the last valkyrie val uh, uh <laughs> sorry the last shining star valkyrie so you know like we we got the three valkyries uh, god damn why the hell am i <laughs> three shining stars so, so quickly so maybe it's going to take some time to find the last shining star i don't know or maybe we're going to find her quickly either way you know a lot of things and another thing i'm quite curious about is now now don't spoil it like what happens if you press moscow's belly button <laughs> don't spoil it please i really want to I, i'm not i'm not even sure if this like you know mentioned that in the manga or not or is it some kind of a eternal mystery you know <laughs> But if they mentioned it in the manga later on, I want to check, like, you know, find that out myself, looking, like, you know, watching the anime. So don't spoil it. And, um, like, the, the thing, like, don't touch. Like, Moscow is already always trying to touch his belly button. So I'm guessing that don't touch was written by sister because she doesn't want Moscow touching it. Like, who knows? Like, like I'm, I'm just imagining what would happen if you touch the belly button. Maybe, like, you know, maybe that's like an outer shell that he's wearing and he's, like, you know, outer shell is going to fall off and he'll become this kind of, uh, like, you know, I don't know, like some kind of super uh, powerful person or something. Or maybe something weird and stupid is going to happen. Maybe, I don't know, like, maybe he'll change color or something. <laughs> who knows <laughs> anyways uh, so yeah <laughs> okay so that's it that's the oh another thing i forgot to mention we met zhao mei again now so here's the thing so i'm guessing she's like a narrator usually like you know like uh, fatal fatal also had a narrator yeah fatal also had a narrator so like usually these type of narrators where we only see you know hear their voices they kind of narrate the stuff but here we actually have a person you know a person who is 
right? actually narrating it and kind of like you know making funny little fourth uh, wall breaking like you know uh, breaking jokes and all like in the in the first <laughs> In the, in the first few episodes she kind of came and said that oh like you're going to see a lot of time like you know like you know time related stuff here so don't like you know don't freak out or something like that she said something like that like like oh she said like it's going to be normal here so you better like you know <laughs> get used to it and now today in today's episode she also kind of came and said that like you see what did she say she said something like i'm your narrator or something Okay, uh, ah, there you go. I'm Xiaomei, Xiaomei, the narrator of this story. <laughs> In order to restore the true power of the poem, yeah, for demon, the one who oversaw the uh, Chiki and the other found sister, the adventure will continue. Yeah, she, she did not break much fourth wall in this episode, but she kind of said that, yeah, I'm your narrator and we'll meet again soon. Like, that's kind of fourth wall breaking, I guess. But yeah, I, I think I, I like this way of actually narrating a story. It, it's kind of interesting. Like, you know, instead, like, uh, like, usually you kind of hear this weird voice always kind of narrating it. But now we have this, like, you know, person coming out in the middle of the sky and just saying that, oh, I'll be your narrator and I'll narrate stuff to you. And I'll be breaking the fourth wall, so you better get used to it, stuff like that. So I guess this is more like, you know, a unique way to actually narrate a story. I like it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's interesting. So, yeah, uh, like, who knows, maybe like I, I, I think I've seen a few and not animes, a few games, I think, like do these kind of things. Like, you know, like where there's like this type of a character who is actually breaking the fourth wall as a narrator or something. They do like, you know, this kind of stuff for couple of not couple but a, a, a lot of episodes and then suddenly they get included into the story themselves you know like like they actually join the people that act, like you know that are the main characters like like something like this happens I've, I've seen i think i've seen i've seen a few not anime but a video i think a few video games like this where there's this narrator who's kind of we get to understand that yeah this is just a narrator she'll just be breaking the breaking the fourth wall and giving us information we probably won't meet them like you know they like he pro he or she will probably not meet the main characters in the story like we get a kind of uh uh you know like kind of uh like we understand that that's what's going to happen that's the only role that's been assigned to this character but then suddenly like the character gets actually included and like it's a big surprise or something like that like like who knows maybe we'll see something like that in this story as well i don't know i'm just making guesses you know <laughs> so yeah but either way it's kind of interesting like you know seeing an actual person narrating the story and breaking the fourth wall i like that so yeah so yeah guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to eden zero episode number 12 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of eden zero so until then goodbye and have a nice day